Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Wanted to do this video because the other day I had a little bit of an issue with the 2007 Chevy Silverado. Uh, if you've been following along, you know that we've only had this truck, uh, I don't know, month and a half maybe? So, uh, you know, there's a lot of history there that I, I just don't know about. But anyway, I had gone out, went into town, and was on my way back and I pulled out into traffic and I just had no throttle response at all and I looked down and the driver information center I get home and uh, I must have drove uh, six miles or so check engine light was on and I could not get the truck to go over about 50 miles an hour. It wouldn't go over 2,000 RPMs. And uh, I was afraid to stop on the side of the road and turn it off that, you know, it might not want to restart. So um, anyway, I get it home, shut it off, let it sit for a moment, turn the key back on, check engine light still there low engine power message has gone away and uh, I don't know the throttle just didn't seem uh, to be very responsive so I went and I checked the tailpipe to make sure that uh, that the exhaust wasn't plugged up because first thing I thought about was maybe the catalytic converters failing maybe something's come loose and you know the exhaust is, is getting plugged up for some reason uh, that seemed to be fine so came back shut the truck off opened up the hood and I disconnected the battery at first I disconnected the negative terminal then I disconnected the positive terminal now I don't know if this is proper or not and some of you may say hey you should have never done that but it did okay um, I let it sit for a little bit and then I hooked the battery back up in uh, the reverse order started the truck back up again and check engine light was still there however the throttle seemed to be a whole lot better than it was before so hmm I got to thinking about it and I went online now here's the point to this video okay and it ain't about Ford is better than Chevy is better than Dodge is better than it ain't about none of that right the point to my video is that when I went online, I went to a forum and I searched for low engine power and I come across several threads in there that talked about that problem. I took it up to a local parts store Monday morning as soon as they opened and I had them read the codes. So there are no active codes on, on the truck. Oh, by the way, when I started it up to go to the parts store Monday morning, check engine light was gone too. Um, truck ran fine. So had them check the battery. Battery's at 42%. Uh, so the battery is discharged uh, quite a bit. Um, still enough that it'll start the truck just fine. But uh, the battery uh, that's in the truck is over three years old and it actually has a date sticker on it when it was purchased that's how I know that and uh, yeah thinking that the battery's going bad I'm, I'm really not sure if the battery terminal was a little loose because it seemed a little loose when I took it off originally and uh, the battery terminal might have been a little loose on it and that might have been the whole problem I have not been back I haven't replaced the battery yet um, just driving it around for a couple of days and seeing if the battery will recharge now according to the gauges inside the truck the uh, the alternator is working just fine so we'll see um, another couple of days so anyway thanks for watching remember pay attention to the details God bless bye Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing a new video. Like this video and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Also, feel free to share this with any of your social media sites.